Natasha's law is a new allergen labeling law that affects pre-packed for direct sale foods. To be compliant, you must first identify food products affected by Natasha's law, then you must create an ingredients list. This starts with a documented recipe and accurate information about the ingredients which you are using in your products. You will find this information on product labels and or product specifications from your supplier. When purchasing food for your business, you should buy the same brand ingredients to ensure that your label is always accurate. Brands will often differ in their ingredients, so changing brands or switching between similar products will mean your label could be incorrect. This can be serious if the differences concern the allergenic ingredients. Pre-packed for direct sale foods are popular choices among customers. They can have many complex ingredients. Here's how you create an accurate ingredient list for lasagna as an example of a pre-packed for direct sale food. First, list your ingredients. The next task is to order your ingredients in descending weight order, the heaviest first. You may need to weigh your ingredients to determine the order. Ingredients in very small amounts can be listed at the end. The ingredients list in descending weight order will look like this. Some ingredients are made up of sub-ingredients. These are called compound ingredients, for example sauces. Compound ingredients need to be declared. This is usually done by declaring the compound ingredient followed by the sub-ingredients in brackets. A typical ingredient list will now look like this. Within the UK there are 14 food allergens that are covered by food labelling laws. The next task is to identify any of the 14 allergens in your ingredients. Bold font is a popular way to emphasise allergenic ingredients, although capitals or different colours can be used to make the allergens stand out from the rest of the ingredients. Notice that it is only the allergen which is emphasised. So for example, the wheat in wheat flour. Note that in the case of cereals containing gluten, it is the actual cereal that gets listed. Wheat, rye, barley, oats, and in the case of nuts, you must list the actual nut type if it is one of the eight types of nut listed in the regulation. Your final ingredient list should look like this. For more information on Natasha's Law, go to safefood.net forward slash allergens.